Hello and welcome to another edition of um, the Technology Revision videos. Uh, today we look at the six R's of sustainability. So the six R's are basically a checklist that we use as designers to ascertain the environmental impact um, on the ecology of the planet. So key terms we need to uh, consider, um, sustainability, renewable resources and the carbon footprint. Sustainability is banded around a lot in technology and it's a very, very important key term. Um, and basically it's uh, the ability to maintain the resources and materials we have uh, on the planet. Uh, these renewable resources such as um, wood like materials um, or oil or to make plastics etc or energy type uh, resources like um, wind power, uh, tidal power, um, we need to be considering using those to uh, sustain uh, the natural resources of the earth. And carbon footprint. Uh, this is the amount of uh, CO2 used, uh, carbon dioxide, um, from general activities of, a, of one person or a company or a group of people. Ways to reduce um, the carbon footprint of the individual would be considering to get rid of a car, for example, and take a bike, or um, things like making sure your home is well insulated, keeping the heat in effectively, and doing less travel. So the six R's themselves, the first one is reduce, and um, it speaks for itself, it would be to lower the amount of materials we use in a product, and that will help protect our resources. So one way we could reduce the use of plastic um, is to reuse plastic bottles, for example, and refill them from the tap. This will obviously reduce the uh, use of those plastics and ultimately then we will need to use less uh, crude oil um, in the first instance to make those plastics to produce for bottles and other uh, pieces of packaging. New products made from PLA or polylactic acid are made from naturally occurring plant-based oils um, and uh, decompose a lot quicker than crude oil plastics. The next R is rethink, um, and that challenges designers to think of a better way to solve um, the issues and the problems of things like packaging or products, new products. So here's an example of someone uh, packaging a product for delivery. You can see it's ineffective, it's been pushed to one corner, if it gets bumped by there, it's, it's going to break it anyway, and there's far too much uh, material being used. The next example is a back tray that's used for um, uh, packaging meat products. Um, they're effective in packaging uh, the products but they are next to impossible to uh, recycle so they're very bad for the environment. These tend to just go to landfill these types of trays. So the next R is refuse and in some countries um, they allow you to refuse um, the material packaging. So for example um, if you went to a supermarket and you bought a tub of or a punnet of peaches um, you could leave the waste there and just take the peaches home so you don't have to have the waste the, the company um, supermarket would have to take the waste and deal with that uh, disposal. Other companies such as coffee manufacturers give you refillable uh, bags that are made from plastic so not great but um, you don't have to recycle the jar then at home you refill the coffee jar that you had the initial product in. Um, pros and cons to this, plastic is hard to recycle, glass is generally easier to recycle and wider recycled really so bring us on to our next R, recycling. Um, could the material be used uh, to make another um, product entirely so for example Cardboard is widely recycled. One problem with cardboard that if it is soiled, uh, for example, there's pizza grease or something on it, then it can't be reused. So um, it's a difficult um, problem to overcome. I think we really need to reconsider how we package products like food and cardboard um, because it's, it just wastes the product completely. Fast food trays, uh, this styrofoam uh, material, expanded plastic, is very difficult to recycle. It, it, if you try to recycle it basically goes down to nothing you need a lot of this um, material to recycle it effectively the next R is reuse and that basically means to repurpose a product can you use it again or some of the component parts again for something new um, or for the same um, intended purpose so this vase um, has been broken and um, the opening has obviously been reshaped and it's used as a decorative uh, planter. This is a very clever product. It's a plastic bag that's made from plastic bags so the person has used 
um, used plastic bags um, and stripped them into weaving material and just weave the, the bags back together. And finally, repair. Now, repair is or was very common back 20, 30 years ago. Um, where you'd have electric stores would take products in and you'd repair your television for your radios, for example, or um, even computer consoles. Um, nowadays, it's much more difficult to do that. Um, I think the manufacturer does that on purpose. You, they, um, they try to stop people repairing and maintaining their um, computers, for example, because they want you to buy new ones. Um, there are companies that allow you to upgrade your desktop computers, for example, um, to keep them moving with technology. It's generally more beneficial for the manufacturer just to keep selling you new products to make more money. The last illustration represents maintenance. And I think if you maintain products properly, you, you really shouldn't have too much trouble in um, extending the life of that product. There are products that um, have a planned obsolescence to them, such as you know your new consoles will break down after a certain amount of years. Those companies want you to buy new products. Also things like mobile phones, people just have to have a new model. Um, so sometimes it's very difficult to keep repairing um, products, especially if people want the, the newer type products and if technology is pushing. Uh, those products forward you want to keep up with that um, technology trend so thanks for watching again um, I hope you got a little bit out of this <laughs> I'll continue to post the videos um, on the YouTube channel and um, if you've got any suggestions for improvement then just um, drop me a message thanks very much